Now let's do a quick recap before we go in. Raise your hand. Category first of the shape that I'm holding up. Category first. Sarah. Correct. Specific name. Olivia. Rectangular prism is correct. Good so far? Yeah. Ready? This is building on everything that we did in the previous lesson. How many faces? And by the way, if you don't know the formula, it's okay, but you just have to count carefully. All right? You won't have the object in your hand on Monday, so you'll have to do it from a flat piece of paper, but you can do that. Sky, how many faces? Six is correct. Let's go to edges. Edges. And again, if you know the formula, great. If not, you got to physically count them. No less. Uh, the edges are 18. Try again. Uh, right idea, but build off the square. Square has four sides, and that's your hand. Right, 12. Four times three, or again, you could physically count them. Vertices. Luke. Right, four times two. Finally, let's bring it all together. Who wants to come up to the board and sketch the net? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with somebody I haven't gone with. Ms. Bob, you may do it. You can put it here if you want. You don't, you're doing the net. You don't have to uh, put it down below the, what we've already done. Good so far. Uh, can I make one suggestion? Connect it here. Okay. Yep. And just erase this piece here. Otherwise, it overlaps the other shape. All right. One more. Well done. Well done. I, I, I don't need to open it up, but she's got it. And again, you could put these squares that are on the sides anywhere as long as they're across from each other. So what we've just done, this builds, you, this, is, this is what it, it's called a prerequisite. It means things that you need to know how to do in order to advance to the next lesson. If you could name a shape, identify how many faces, edges, vertices, and draw the net, you are ready to go on to the last lesson of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, I present in my hand, the last lesson of your sixth grade experience. It would be an honor to have Miss Doherty be one of the people to hand out my last lesson of the year. It would be equally honor for Mr. Black to do this. All right, let me kind of give you in a nutshell what nine, lesson nine is all about. Remember we did volume? Volume was length times width times height, right? Remember that? That was back in lesson seven, right? You can't get confused with what we're doing today with volume. Volume would be how much space, in this case, the inside of this container would, would take up. That's what volume. If I fill it up with water, how much space does it hold up? So if I were to actually count little cubic units inside, that's volume. What if I were to ask you, and I'm going to have to, you have to kind of go back to what you learned about area. To calculate the area of every single face on this rectangular prism, how many faces does it have? It has six. On each one, what, again, what was the formula for area? Not volume, but area base times height, or length times width. It's kind of the same thing. So essentially, what lesson nine is all about is what's called surface area. 
It's the area, not the volume, the area of all six faces added together. That's what surface area is. So, but we can cheat because if I find the length and the width of this long face here and I get the area of this face, what can I do to not have to do this four more other times? This face by how much? How many faces are identically like this length and width? Say it again. Right, there's one here, two, three, and four. Would that give me the total surface area, however? Let me say yes. Let me say no. All right, what do I have to do to complete the total surface area? Sam. Right, this square, then I find the area of this square and multiply it by by 2 and add everything together. Okay? Well, you have to be able to, in le and, and we're going to actually do this on the second day, but that's kind of the gist of what Lesson 9 is. The first half is being able to figure out the surface area, though, from the net. If I spread this out and I give you the measurements of this side and this side, and this side, and this side, you've got to be able to determine the area and add the area of all of the faces together. All right? Now, on that note, go to exploratory number one. Because they don't start you out by looking at the net. They start you out by looking at the 3D figure. And I'm going to kind of take you through the process. I think the easiest way to start this is they give you the three sides, right? Let's label all of the remaining sides so we know what's what. And we're kind of building on when we did compound shapes, opposite sides are equal. So if this is 3, what's this? Label it. It's going to help you. What's this? Gabby, can you do me a favor just for today? Sit over in that corner. Okay? I'm helping you out. You know, it's 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 fine. You, you you've been back there for 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 39 weeks. You get a change of scenery. I've been here for 39 weeks. No, you haven't. You've been you were over there before. He's been in the back the whole entire time, right? Yeah. All right. Back to the lesson, guys. If this is seven, what's this? What's this? Good. What's this? And those are all of the visible edges that we can see, right? Oh, there's one more. All right, what is it? You got it. Okay, next thing we got to do is draw the net. I'll help you out. It doesn't matter what direction you, you do it in. I could, do, I could hold it like this, or I can hold it like this. But try to get the sides and your wings as close to being on scale as possible. So, just model what I'm doing to start you off. For some of you, this might come easy. This might be difficult. You've got to now give the, the dimensions for each one of these sides. All right. Now, I can help you out. This right here represents... I'll do it a different color so you can see it. I'm going to tell you that this represents this piece right here. Okay. And I've even helped you out because you have two sides, seven and six. The longer side is seven. So this is seven, this is seven, this is six, and this is six. All right, now use what you've learned back on, I think it was lesson five maybe, lesson six. Opposite sides are equal. So doesn't that make, what does that make this? And what's that make this? 
And what does that make this? Seven. And what does it make this? Seven. Great. Six. Careful. Six and six. And what's it make this? Six. Opposite sides are equal. If this is six, that's got to be six. All right, now it's tricky. This piece, I'll do it in a different color so you can see it. This call, this is representing this, right? No. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to make this little piece three. three. This becomes three. This becomes this becomes. Okay. And the other little rule is: are anything that's that is perpendicular at a ninety degree angle. Since this one put together, this has to match up with this. So this is also three. This is, this is, this is, what's this? Now you have everything. It's a little tricky, but I will tell you the prisms, the rectangular prisms are the most difficult out of all of them. Okay, we did the hardest one first, I think. You want to try the triangular? Flip. Well, everything is labeled and it's not that bad because they also make this an equilateral triangular prism, which is going to make it even easier. Okay? Anybody want to come up and first sketch it? I'll give you a ticket or a candy at this point because tickets really, you know, well, they're not useless, but I might as well just give you immediate feedback. Um, Bren, come on up and sketch the net first, but don't worry about the dimensions of the sides. Really good. She's got it. And again, you can draw it in any orientation. You get a candy brand. You can draw it in any orientation that you want. Okay, you could draw it like that if you want. You'd be fine too. All right. Now, it, it, this is going to kind of fall into place. Do you have, uh, Gabby? Do you have lesson nine? Okay. Let's do the triangles first. It's easy. What are the sides of what are the, the, the lengths of all three sides? And they don't give they don't give you centimeters or meters, so we're just gonna give it units. Okay, Luke. Three. Take care of all three. three. Remember, the sides that are adjacent are always the same. So this has got to be three also, because when you fold this up, these two edges touch. What does this have to be? What does this have to be? What does this have to be? All my threes are done. Everything else is six. Okay? And then I think the third one is really the easiest. Why don't you try that one on your own? I'll come and do a walkthrough and see how you do it. And that's finally your, I believe it's your square pyramid. Oh, I need to help you out with this. This is a typo with this. And it's going to make it an even easier. Um, it's not a triangular prism. It is a pyramid, and I'm going to make it simple for you. I'm going to make it a square pyramid for you. I'm going to make that change for next year because, and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you out and show you what you can't see. Okay, that's kind of completing that, that missing edge and the missing sides of the base. I changed this from triangular prism to square pyramid. And then I showed you, I made believe it was in, you can't see the inside, I made it like invisible or uh, transparent. So this is, the, this is the base and that's the remaining side. It is. Those are my, those are my sides, it just, yeah. Anybody, if I call you up, you gotta, you gotta not only sketch, sketch it, but you gotta, you gotta label the sides. 
I bequeath thy marker to thee. Don't be upset if I don't call on you. Remember, it's only been a couple of you that have had the opportunity. A lot of people won't get called. You guys are getting it. Okay. Does it look good? Looks good? Yes, you do. Okay, I need to show you one more thing, and then you guys are going, I'll let you know what your assignment is for today. Now that we can do this, guys, and identify all the sides of all of the faces, you can do surface area. First of all, let's just do a what shape is this? It's laid out right now. What is it? Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. How many faces? Six. Six. What I want you to do, I'm not going to ask you to do formula, substitute, and multiply. I do need you to do this, and it's important, though. Very important, because I will not be able to follow your work on a test if I don't know which piece of the rectangular prism you're trying to figure out. So what I want you to do, everybody do this. Yes. Watch how easy this is when we do this. Ready? First, I have six faces. I don't care how you number them, but I'm going to number them in the order that I see them from top to bottom. Call this one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? And I want you to do this methodically because it will help me when I go to grade your work, I'll know exactly which shape you are finding the area of. And I could be able to then give you partial credit. But now from here on out, we can take shortcuts. I'm going to go to full screen so I don't have to keep scrolling up and down. Ready? Shape one. The base is how long? Two. The height is? One. At this point, just show me the, mo the numbers you're multiplying and evaluate it. Shape one is done. Shape two. Again, you have to tell me, a little circled number tells me which one you're doing. Height is or base is? Done. Three. Length and width or base and height is? By? Oh, not four. That's the answer. Two by two. Right. And then that's what you'll do, yeah. Four, one by two, total of two. Start you off really basic. Shape five. Don't worry about it. We're just going to call it unit squared when we're done. Five is a two by one, right? Total two. Shape six is a two by two. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Add it all together. What do you got? 16, 16. Don't forget, no naked numbers, units squared. Okay? And again, you have just calculated the surface area. You haven't calculated volume. As a matter of fact, the volume would be different. The numbers would be different. Okay? So here's what you guys have left on your plate for the next 10 minutes. I think it's it's exercises one through nine, but we're gonna finish up tomorrow. So you're gonna what page is this? Six, seven. That's a challenge, but you can do it. Eight. And then this is my day two tomorrow. So six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight. Yep, pages six, seven, and eight.